The market continues to be hot this week, but we do have 10 cards that are cold. Moving down in price, maybe you can find a good deal out there. This video is sponsored by Flipside Gaming. Check out FlipsideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Right now, you can pre-order Outlaws of Thunder Junction or find a vast number of great products on their website. Remember, shipping is free in the U.S. if your order is over $100 or consists only of singles. Plus, you no longer need any promo codes on their website. The savings is built right into the prices that you see on the site. Same great prices, same great products, and same great service without the extra step. Find their link in the description below. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to another edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch, where today we're going to be looking at the top 10 coldest cards of the week. Maybe you can find some deals out there in the secondary market, even though there's a lot of cards that have been spiking recently. Quickly before we get into our top 10 though, just a couple things. First off, I want to say thank you to one of our YouTube channel members, Obscure Gaming. Obscure Gaming is one of our Hero and Legend tier members, which really does go a long way to support the channel. So I do want to take this moment to say thank you, Obscure Gaming. Truly, truly appreciate your support and everything you do for the channel. And secondly, remember this video is sponsored by FlipsideGaming.com. Check out their website. They have a ton of MTG products on there. Lots of variety. They have other non-MTG related things as well. Right now, you can pre-order Outlaws of Thunder Junction on the site. And remember, if your order is over $100 or consists only of singles, shipping will be free in the United States. Check out the description or the comment section below for direct links to their website. And without any further ado, let's get into it. I play the stereo loud when I'm away from the maddening cacophony. Why save that joke just for the hot list? Might as well move it over to the cold list as well. It goes down to $1.03 this week to six twelve for a 14% decrease. So this card has been climbing recently since a lot of players wanted this to upgrade the Fallout Mutant Menace Commander deck. Others wanted it in fresh builds around a couple of cards from there, the Wise Mothman and the Master Transcendent. This week though, Metanin Cacophony settles down into its new post-spike price point. Number 9 is Monster Manual. This goes down $1.05 to $6.75. That's a 13% decrease. So this spiked at the end of last year, but has been coming down steadily over the last few months. There was some interest in this when the Lost Caverns of Ixalan set was coming out. Some wanted it to put in builds around the Jurassic World Collection Partner Commanders, Blue Royal Raptor, and Owen Grady Raptor Trainer. Now you see this more in other builds, typically like Miram Sentinel Worm or the Ur Dragon. But this week, the price continues to settle down in spite of the fair amount of play that it is seeing in Commander. It is still at a higher price than it was before the spike. Number 8 is Agility Bobblehead. This goes down $1.09 to four fifty seven. That's a 19% decrease. This is from the Scrappy Survivors Fallout Commander deck, and it was number 13 on our hot list last week. All the bobbleheads were spiking since they were showing up in lots of Commander decks, but this one is retracting some now after the recent spike. The others, however, holding steady, at least for this week. Now, Agility Bobblehead is in fresh builds around the front facing commander from its pre-con, Dogmeat Ever Loyal. Some players wanted to upgrade the Science Commander deck with an exclamation point, while still other players are putting in a fresh builds around a couple cards from there, Dr. Madison Lee and Liberty Prime Recharged. But wait, there's more. There's a lot of commander players, and there's a group that want to put this in a build around a different card, one from the Fallout Mutant Menace Commander deck, that is Piper Wright Public Reporter. And of course, one of the more popular commander builds right now running Agility Bobblehead is the one around Mr. House, President and CEO from the House Caesar Fallout deck. Even with all this play, Agility Bobblehead moves down some as it tries to find its price point. Number 7 is Arwen Weaver of Hope. This goes down $1.24 to nine twenty six. That's a 12% decrease. This was our number 8 coldest card last week and it returns to the countdown this week. It is from the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle-Earth Elven Council Commander deck, and prior to the last couple weeks, it was seeing some price increases. It's been in a variety of different Commander decks since it came out, like Agatha the Vile Cauldron, for example, but recently there was a Murders at Carlisle Manor pre-release card that pushed it. That was Voja Jaws of the Conclave. Many Commander players were building Voja decks, and Arwen was a good include there. Now though, the general demand on cards for Voja builds is starting to relax as players have completed their builds, or they moved on to new decks around some of the Fallout products. Again though, the price of Arwen is still far higher than it was prior to the start of this most recent spike. Number 6 is Alibu Ancient Witness. This is the foil copy from the Commander 2021 deck, Lorehold Legacies. It goes down $1.89 to $14.61, that's an 11% decrease. 
It has been spiking though pretty aggressively lately, so here we have another card that was seeing some commander play. One of the more popular builds where it appeared was Urtet Remnant of Memnarch, but Fallout Commander decks caused this to see more play and fetch a higher price. Commander players wanted to add Ali Boo into builds around a card from the Hell Caesar Commander deck. You know him, you love him. Mr. House, President and CEO. Mr. House has been an incredibly popular commander, which caused a lot of cards to spike. Ali Boo Ancient Witness, however, finally retracts some this week after big increases over the month of March as it tries to settle into its new price point. Number 5 is Taunt from the Rampart. This goes down 235 this week to 463. That's a 34% decrease. This is from the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth Riders of Rohan Commander deck, and it was hot recently too. In this case, it was because many Commander players were looking to upgrade the Murders at Carla Manor deck blame game. Others wanted it in fresh builds around the front facing commander from their Nelly Borka Impulsive Accuser. And additionally, there were players using this in builds around a card from the main set to Relia the Law Above. Then after that, there were other commander players that wanted to put this in commander mustard builds from Ravnica Clue Edition. But most recently, there was another group of players that swooped in and wanted this card because they wanted to either upgrade the Fallout Hail Caesar commander deck or put it in fresh builds around the front facing commander from there. Caesar Legion's Emperor. Yeah, there's actually another legendary creature in the deck that's not named Mr. House, go figure. Despite all the increased play, Taunt from the Rampart continues to retract this week as it tries to find its new post-spike price point, but it's still quite a bit higher than it was in February. Number 4 is Lumbering Mega Sloth. It goes down 243 this week to 593, that's a 29% decrease. This was number 4 on our hot list last week. It was one of the breakout cards from Fallout Products. You can find it in the Mutant Menace deck. As you can imagine, it's also in fresh builds around some cards from there. The Wise Mothman, the Master Transcendent, and Agent Frank Horrigan. But the real reason Lumbering Mega Sloth took off is not Commander. It was actually Legacy. The card is showing up in some Depths builds in the format. Turns out Dark Depths enters with 10 Ice Counters on it. If you were to play that on turn 1, then Yavamaya Cradle of Growth on turn 2, you could get the Mega Sloth out on turn 2, attacking on turn 3. We'll have to see if this sticks around in those builds, but right now it is a popular option. Despite that though, the card is moving down this week. After the big spike last week, many more copies entered the marketplace, as sellers tried to take advantage of the increase, and that led to this week's downslide. Number 3 is Reckless Endeavor. This goes down 329 to 2499. That's a 12% decrease. This is from the Adventures in the Forgotten Realms Planar Portal Commander deck, and it was our number 3 card on the hot list last week. Here is another one that was seeing Commander play in a few different decks. The most popular build was Prosper Tonebound, which happens to be the front facing commander from its commander deck, but recently Fallout Commander products caused this card to spike a lot. Players have been picking this up to put in their builds around Mr. House, President and CEO from Hail Caesar. Like the previous card though, more copies of Reckless Endeavor showed up in the marketplace when sellers saw the big spike. Now things are stabilizing and the price moves down, but again still more expensive than it was before the spike started in February. Number 2 is Ancient Brass Dragon. This goes down 339 to 2608. That's a 12% decrease. It's been in a lot of commander builds, but one of the more popular decks to see it in over the last year is the Ur Dragon. However, now some new cards have pushed this recently. Some want this for commander builds around a card from the Murders at Carla Manor Commander Deck Revenant Recon. That card was Marvo Deep Operative. But most recently, lots of players wanted to pick this up for their shiny new Mr. House President and CEO builds. Same story here though, as more copies of Ancient Brass Dragon were put up for sale, things started to retract a little bit. But again, the card is still more expensive than it was at the start of the year. And finally, coming in at number one is Terror of the Peaks from Corset 2021. It goes down 887 to 3418. That's a 21% decrease. So here we have a popular commander card. It's found in a number of builds, including the Ur Dragon. And like I said, you see a lot of those decks at the commander table still. So why is this soft? Well, we found out this week that Terror of the Peaks is being reprinted in Outlaws of Thunder Junction. So this original copy begins to drop. All right, with that being said, that does it for this episode of the Magic of the Gathering Market Watch. Hey, if you haven't checked out our top 15 hot cards this week, check out that video. There you'll find a number of cards that are spiking wildly, and most likely those videos will act as a preview for upcoming cold card videos over the next couple weeks. Until next time though, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. 
Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.